What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome to the first visit. Oh yeah. To Ravenport. So we are rocking John Deere's. Oh yeah. Or John Deere. I don't know. We got a 6M. We got a 6R with the front loader and pallet forks. We have the 560. Oh yeah, we got a corn header. We got the auger header. Oh yeah, we got a big old thing right here. Oh yeah, things are good. We have our tipper right here. Run all the way around. We have kept the same in-game buildings that you get, so that this all looks very familiar to you. Here we have our crop care area. We have our weeder. We have our sprayer, which is going to have all the nasty, nasty stuff in it. Herbicide. And, of course, we have our lime spreader. That can also do solid fertilizer as well. But we are staying away from solid fertilizer, at least for the time being. There's no point to use it. We have our subsoiler, which we will be using as a plow. We have our cultivator. Over here, we have our cedars. We went with Vetterstat. We've got a 6 meter. And, of course, we have a 6 meter does corn because we will be doing corn we also have a regular sprayer here running all the way around and the last piece of equipment i think i think this is the last piece of equipment yeah our stump grinder over here by the wood pile that's right and yeah look out so the very first thing that we have got to do today is we need to go up and we need to bring back some seed and stuff so let's take a look here let's take a look at what we've got we do have some money that i brought over from farming simulator 17. i figure i'd give myself a little bit of cash so i brought over 500,000 on top of the 150,000 that was already here so we have a total of six hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars. you know i really don't want to you know what we're gonna take this oh yeah we're gonna take the six r Man, this thing is beautiful. Yes, it is. This is an absolutely amazing tractor. It's good sounding. Only thing is, the inside is a little quiet. That just might be me. Could be just me. I'm not sure. But it just seems like the interior of all of the tractors are just a little too quiet for my liking. As far as land goes, we've just got the starting land. Fields 24, 25, 26, and 19. We will be buying more land. We're going to buy more land today. I've got a good idea of what I think we're going to buy, but we will scout a few locations just to check and see. One thing I'll tell you what, you take a little bit of a turn, everything starts moving around. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Tell you what, this game is really, really good. It's well done. It's just got to take your time, that's all. Before, with Farming Simulator 17, you didn't really have to take your time. If you wanted to get from point A to point B, you could get there, and you could get there pretty quick. Get out of the road, stupid NPC. You could get wherever you wanted to go pretty darn fast. But not here. You gotta take your time here. Let's pull in. There we go. Nice. So, we have a little bell trailer right here. And I think we could probably get six pallets on here. So let's go in here and let's take a look at what's going on. So everything is cultivated. We've got fertilizer on field 24, but we do not have any fertilizer on 25, 26, or 19. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to buy some solid fertilizer. <laughs> That's right. We're going to buy some, well, I don't know. We've got our sprayer. We could easily spray. There we go. So let's stop that right there. How about we do that? Let's buy some liquid fertilizer. And one thing that's great is the store has one of the brand new Manitou forklifts. So this thing is cool. Oh yeah. Again, this game's all about, it's the realism is absolutely incredible it and it's not that it's super realistic or anything but you can take your time with things you don't have to just go crazy with it and go fast 
you get to take your time with this. So let's get fertilizer tank. Our sprayer doesn't hold much, if I remember correctly. Let's jump in and see what our sprayer will even hold. 1,300 liters. That's it. So we need to buy a front tank for it. That is what we're going to have to buy right now. Where is sprayers? Crop protection. Okay, so let's buy the front thing for it. So 15 plus 13, that's going to be 28. It's not too bad. Buy. Yes. Okay, so now we have that. So now we can buy one. One pallet of liquid fertilizer. Fertilizer tank. Let's buy. Yes, please. Thank you. What about... Let's take a look in here. So we also have one of these hardies as well. How's about we go ahead and get that full as well? Sorry for jumping back. I'm still learning everything here. Let's go and buy us a herbicide tank as well. And I think that's all from there. Big bags. Let's go ahead and get seed. Now, the seeder that we have, we've got two. We have the Vetterstat right here, which is going to hold 3,100 liters of seed. And then these over here, which hold 2,200 and 696. Let's do a little bit of math and figure out exactly how much seed that we could possibly get. So I've decided to get just as much as it will possibly let us. So let's go in here. Seed bags, 1,000 liters. One, two, three, and four. Finally, there we go. So now we have six pallets here. I think we can fit all six on the back. This ought to be hilarious. Wait, where'd it go? It's over here. Crap. Let's uh, let's see how bad this goes. Well, it's not the prettiest, but it is on here. Uh, I kind of figured pretty quickly that we would not be able to get these on there, so I didn't even try. What I am gonna do is we're gonna bring this around. Let's pick up this front tank. Let's go ahead and grab it and get it started here we go nope just drop the trailer that becomes an issue uh, that is one issue that I'm having at least is I'll get up to an implement and instead of telling me I can hook up to it it drops whatever I've got on there and then without moving at all it says yes now you can do both of them and I wonder am I the only one having that issue is that everyone, or is that just a, yeah, DJ, you just kind of suck, dude. <laughs> you just suck. Oh, man. It is what it is, but still kind of annoying. So we've got a nice little farm. We've got a good little area. I do like it. It's a good starting point. It's a good starting place for us. Not too big. Uh, if you know, uh, YouTubers will understand this, uh, but one thing about it is having this huge plot of land it's kind of difficult, to be completely honest with you, because it takes so long to do everything that by the time you're done, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so over this. So, yeah. So we don't we don't do that around here. We we just kind of get everything did done and done and did the way it is. Back at the main farm, uh, one thing I am gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna create or I'm gonna combine those two fields right there. They appear to be ready for that, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's drop this off here. Nope. <laughs> Taking some getting used to. I do apologize if you guys want to make fun of me, drop it down in the comment section and say, ha 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 DJ. Go for it. I don't care. Drop that off there. There we go. One thing I do not have, and you guys can tell me, uh, tell me what you think about this. I do not have a small tractor. We've got big tractors. I just don't have a small one. And I feel like I need a smaller tractor. Got that. Boom. Boom. Got it. I feel like I need a smaller tractor. One with a front loader on it. One that I can do narrows on. And that has a front three-point attacher. Problem is, no John Deere in the game is like that. So here's my question. Do we suck it up? Or do we buy another tractor? I know we're like total John Deere buffs right now. 
But I want to buy another tractor. We got the money for it. Oh, yeah. Let's go and get this off of here. Bam. And bada bing. Line it up just right. I do have my arm sensitivity up pretty darn high. It's about 150% right now. But makes for makes this actually pretty easy. There we go. Let's get this brought over here. So I've got an idea of what tractor I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a case. Oh yeah. Let's put this down. Ooh, front front arms are very squirrely. I'm thinking of a case. What do you guys think? You think a case would be uh <laughs> you think that would be a bad idea on the John Deere farm? Or do you think a case would be good? But unfortunately, by the time that you guys see this, I'm already going to have made my decision. And we may go do make that decision right now. Okay, let's drop off the front arms. There we go. Back up just a little bit. You know what? Let's go look. I'm going to go talk to the guys at the store. See if we can find us a brand new case. Well, we gave them a call and they said this is the one. The case Maxim. We went with the big engine. 145 i believe that's about 175 horsepower oh yeah it is a beast and a half in here let's listen to it oh yeah we did go with the wide tires with weights i still call these broad tires it just kind of is what it is there's a stop sign down wonder how that happened actually you know what while we're doing it We've got these pallet forks on the front, which I did go with because pallet forks will work with pallets or bells. At least I believe so. That's the way it was in FS 17. We may find out otherwise here in 19, that's for sure. So let's bring these down. I did turn the arm sensitivity down because it was just way too high. Got it. Let's see if we can get this down to the farm without going absolutely crazy. We'll see you back down there. We made it down in a jiffy without any problems, issues, qualms, quarries, or coifers. Nothing. Not a daggum thing happened. Let's go ahead and put this over here. You know what? I'm just going to put this back on the trailer. It's not going to hurt anything. If anything, it's going to be good for it. And slide right off. And let's stick a strap. One, two. There we go. Now we cannot screw it up. <laughs> Well, what we can screw up, unfortunately, is we're out of shed space, so this is going to have to be stored out in the open. There's just nothing we can do about that. So let's drop that off. Let's drop that off. And let's drop the arms. Perfect. And let's get hooked up to our sprayer. These are probably not the wheels that you want to be using if you are hooking up to a sprayer. But it doesn't really matter right now, since we are in the middle. Well... <laughs> We're actually in the middle of nothing. We're not in seasons, because there are no seasons. Hey, we got it. Finally, that actually worked. See, now this looks way better on here than it would on a deer. If you agree, smash that like button. If you disagree, also smash that like button. <laughs> All right. This is filling up while this is filling up. Oh, do you hear that? You hear the, uh, the idle? Check this out. Listen to it. Ah, I didn't do it that time. Oh, well, that's all right. So the entrance to this field, I believe, is down here. Oop. <laughs> Not that far down. I believe it's down here. And we will just crest the top. That is true, yes. And we've got that. Let's extend this. Oop. Birds. Chase the birds. Go, 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 go. Flash the birds. One day I will catch one of you. <laughs> try that if you can catch the birds let me know down in the comment section be like i caught a bird please let me know i'm excited and anxious to see if someone can actually catch one of those daggum birds and they're coming back oh i'm a, i'm gonna get y'all i'm gonna get y'all birds uh-huh that's right that's what i thought get on out you get on out y'all <laughs> all right let's get this thing lined up i'll tell you the controls are so slow to, here we go. So this is laying down a fertilization state. Let's go check that out. Yes. 
That is laying down a first fertilization state for us. So we'll actually get some fertilization going. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, there's a little bird. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> can't chase the birds. Uh, title this video, Chasing Birds. DJ Go Ham. <laughs> Gosh. All right, while we've got that going on, let's jump back in here. And let's grab our plow. Because we have two fields that need to be brought together. Brought together in harmony. Yes, in harmony. Let's see if we can grab this. Truck shouldn't be in the way. Got it. Let's bring it around here. These fields are just dying to be put beside each other. You can hear them going, DJ, bring us together, fine, please. You hear them? I heard them. <laughs> so let's get right here. Allow create fields. Drop it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then let's see how close we can get over here to this looking like it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, there we go. There's one. Let's make a second, uh, let's go and flip this. Let's go and make a second pass just in case so that we can make each side look exactly the same. Lower that down. Perfect. Bring it through. Nice. Doing each end, doing each side, and then we're going to go on the other end and do the exact same thing. Let's raise this up. No need to flip it because we are correct. We are on the right path. Look at that tire dirt. Oh, I love it. I do have tire dirt turned all the way up. So for those of you that are wondering, yes, tire dirt is all the way up. Let's see if this will jump in with us. I want this to go straight. And it is ah, just a little too far out right there. That's okay. That's all right. Got that. Raise it up and flip it. To my knowledge, subsoiler cannot create fields. I'm down to try. I just don't think that it can. And drop this down. And we'll pull this across. We will go grab the subsoiler just to give it a try. But I don't think you can create fields with subsoiler. Okay. Let's detach from there. Let's grab our subsoiler. That is over here somewhere i believe i have yeah right here <laughs> look at our guy in there and just bouncing around he's probably going dj quit quit it it's back up to him staring him in the eyes what's up dude got it the culty plow oh yeah i love these things they are so cool but unfortunately i don't think we can create fields with culty plow we could try just don't think we can okay let's line it up just so if so this would be great let's drop it down okay it is giving us the cultivated sign yeah unfortunately we cannot create fields with this bad boy so let's raise it back up there we go and unfortunately get rid of it well not get rid of it it's Eh, it's good to have. We'll just leave it like that. It's good to have. Let's take it against the barn right here. I don't see any reason to take it anywhere else. Plop it up. There we go. Sweet. So let's get on to it. Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get this field all the way. And then I think we're going to have to come through with a little bit of lime. Uh, either that or we're going to not do lime on this field the first year. And we're going to wait until we have to do the entire field to put the lime down. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. So hang out with us. Let's find out.
One thing that I well I hadn't really thought about too much, but I understand now is we will have to put lime down. So we are going to take a look at this specific trailer that we have. Holds 9,000 liters. So we're going to buy 8,000 liters of lime. It's going to be in big bags all the way at the end. Lime big bag. This holds 20,000 liters. 20,000, jeez, 2,000 liters. So we're going to buy four of them to get us up to eight. So one, two, three, and four. That way we don't leave anything sitting on the ground. Yep, no, I bought four. All right, I was about to say, uh, that, that's not four, buddy. That's not four at all. So while these are up here, while this is doing its thing, we are going to bump around to our sprayer. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, no, we have to put the lime down first, don't we? Dang it. Ugh. Crap, a moon, though. So what we've got to do is we have to put lime down, and then we have to cultivate that over, and then we have to spray it. So there's so much you have to do with new new uh, fields. It's it's crazy. But the good thing is, lime will only go down where you want it. So if you only want lime, let's say you've made just one little... Let's say you've made like a Mr. Silly Pea line through Valley of the Old Farm. Where he was planting his sunflowers. Which I loved, by the way, if you're watching this. Uh, I was worried that you know lime would be thrown everywhere on everything and that's simply not true what you could do is you can easily take lime throw it down it'll only put it down where it needs to go unfortunately here's here's the unfortunate part when you put it down it's still gonna go so if you're not putting it down where it needs to go it's still gonna go out just like manure or anything like that so keep that in mind this lime will go down and it will only apply to where you need it however it will still come out you'll still be using it which sucks it's fine doesn't matter just sucks so to the farm we go a little bit of lime spreading and then cultivating and then spraying and then i think we might actually be ready to put something in the ground Well, we have some planting to do. We're going to be planting corn in this field right here. Oh, yeah. I am stoked for this. Let's go and hire a worker. Let him do his thing. Doing it, doing it. Oh, yeah. It's going in the ground, and I am happy about that. That's a good look for it, too, ain't it? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And all right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you guys for joining us on this ride in Farming Simulator 19. This is just the beginning. Let's have a good time. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.